Welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks. Today it's about the new TS20 second generation. The first generation have been launched in 2018 with a great success. Now, after five years, we add two smart features. One is uh, a new flash cutting flange and standard flange, similar to what we have introduced with the TS10. And the second smart feature is uh, a push-pull mode in cut assist mode. Also, the new TS20CA second generation comes in two versions, as uh, it was in the past, premium, as you see here, and eco. The eco version consists of uh, the saw head that comes with this plastic box, the remote control with this uh, plastic box, and in addition, these two accessories, the flash cutting flange and the hand grip. The premium version comes with this trolley, Blade Guard of 800, Below the trolley, there is uh, a plastic box full of accessories. Which are these accessories? A tool set, four rail foot, one double taper cone, three eccentrics, a box of anchor, HKD. What I want to highlight is that with the both versions, Premium Echo, we deliver a flash cutting flange and a, a hand grip that works as a wrench as well. This is really convenient when we have to tight or unscrew the flange from standard to flash cutting flange back and forth. This is called an end grip because usually when we, we use uh, the flash cutting flange uh, on a blade, this is already uh, tightened on the blade. Here is the new TS20 second generation and it comes with a new flange type. It's the same that we have already launched with the DST10 CA last year. With the previous TS20 model, the inner flange was fixed and every time that we had to change the inner flange because it was worn, the complete saw head had to be delivered to our repair center. While in the new TS20 second generation, this is a removal part. That means that every time that the flange is worn, we can remove it and place a new one. And the new one is sold as an accessory. I have always to pay attention that this mechanism is uh, completely flat and, and as well uh, the mechanism in the arm. So it's uh, flexible and movable as you see. Now we are either can mount a standard flange or a flash cutting flange. Do you know how to check if a flange is worn? Go and check the episode on flange maintenance. One more thing that I would like to highlight, as you see here, the outer flange is the same, but what changes is the screw length. So, pay attention to not mix the screw from uh, old version to the new one and vice versa. Now we have seen together how to disassemble, assemble a standard flange. You will appreciate more in the next episode the convenience to change with a, a flash cutting flange application. I hope that you liked this episode and please share it with your community and See you to the next episode of Tips and Tricks.